Hey everybody, it's Barbara. I'm back with another in the background video. Today we're going to be using snow cone ink, diagonal stripe stencil, and primitive white cardstock for our card um, base today. Of course, here's my handy daubers. What I'm going to start doing is tape my um, paper down to my grid, as always. Tape my stencil down so it won't move while I'm uh, sponging. And then I'm really going to speed up this part so that you don't have to watch me do every little stroke. Again, the important thing is to hold your stencil in place even though it is um, taped. This particular kind of stencil with all those little stripes um, can tend to move on you. So just hold it very securely while you're sponging your ink. Now this one didn't go quite to the edge, so I'm just going to move it just a little bit and fill in that little bit. Then I'm going to turn it over another 90 degrees and sponge in the other direction. Again, I love the variation that you get with doing this by hand. It's um, light in some places and darker in others, and I just love that. Again, just finishing off that end. And there you have your pattern paper. Now for this card, I have a um, primitive white cardstock base, a two size for the top fold. I'm also using some glitter paper. I'm trimming my um, just stenciled paper down now. And I'm going to um, lay it all out and see what I think. That's my base. I have another panel there of primitive white cardstock. I've already cut out three wreaths from silver, uh, from metallic silver paper using the winter wreath dynamics from my favorite things. The bow is made from um, snow cone cardstock. And I'm going to adhere my uh, just stenciled paper onto the glitter cardstock. And I'm going to pop that up on the base with foam. I don't use ribbons and big bows like I used to, but I still like some dimension on my cards. And popping certain elements up on foam certainly does that for me. This might be a little overkill, but I like to use a lot because it makes everything lie real flat. adhering to the uh, card base. And now I'm going to adhere my other little panel directly to that. Now I'm going to work on my wreath. Um, I like, again, as I mentioned, I like dimension on my cards, so I kind of like to um, shape elements like um, the wreath and leaves. So I have three copies of it and I'm shaping each layer before I put them on the card. And now I'm going to adhere them to the card individually with just a touch of liquid glue in several places. First layer, second layer will be the same way. I'll just um, stagger little branches a little bit for that. It helps to fill it in. And with the third layer, same thing. And to make sure everything is seated properly, I turn it over and just rub real hard on the back. Now we're going to move on to the sentiment. I'm using a sentiment from DC Ornament Banner Builder and I'm going to emboss it with silver embossing powder. So first of all I'm going to stamp it with Versamark on a strip of snow cone cardstock. And over my coffee filter I'll pour on my embossing powder, shake off the excess, and then 
there's always some little stray bits of powder even though I use the um, anti-static brush or powder I always have stray powder so I have to um, flick them off with a sharp point and then I'll heat emboss and there you have it all sparkly and return my powder back to my uh, bottle and put it away before an accident happens ask me how I know and then I'm going to adhere um, the cinnamon strip to the card popped up on some little bits of foam um, tape I find the grid sheet just invaluable for lining up everything. And then next I'm going to up, fluff up my branches a little bit because they got kind of mashed down when I turned it over. And I'm going to add my bow. As you can see I used a little piece of scrap paper for that. Always a good thing. That's popped up as well. And I cut two copies of the bow and trimmed out just the very center piece because I'm going to pop that up on a little piece of foam as well. Just those little touches like that add so much when you're looking at a card. Next I'm going to add some gems. I've already colored some with Copic marker. A tip for that, once um, you start to color you'll find that you have to use a darker color than you might have imagined because on the gems or even pearls it will come out lighter than the marker looks so start with a lighter color but you'll find that you might have to go darker and now I'm just gonna apply them with some um, glue from my quickie glue pen I like an odd number of elements on something like this so I'm considering the bow one of the elements so I'm using four little clusters of the um, gem berries odd numbers just look better to me make sure they're seated properly and that's it Now I have another card to add to my Christmas card stash. Thanks for watching.